Hey everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another video of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Today we start one of the campaigns from the latest expansion which is known as the Last Khans. So as you all know, Age of Empires just give you the, gives you this whole big map and lets you select which mission you want to go with. So, historically, this one, which I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Kotian Khan, comes first. So, I want to play this out first. And yeah, Warboss, if you're watching, yeah, I'm going to do your request as well. But not just right now, because I want to try out the new stuff as well. So, Kotian Khan, for centuries, the Cumans strove on the vast plains of Eurasia. Now, a new threat comes from East Mongols. Ruthless beyond imagination and seemingly invincible, Kotian, the Khan of a small clan, must unite the humans to resist the invaders. Will he save his people, even if it means abandoning their ancestral lands and ancient ways? Hmm, let's get in. Rise of the banners. Alright, we're gonna go with standard man. I mean, I got beat in the last historic fight. A swarm of locusts. The Mongol horde emerged from the east, driven by a madman named Genghis Khan. When we first heard the rumors of their approach, we thought the Mongols were but mere bands of raiders, not unusual on the steppes. But when spies from the east told us that the Mongols had utterly destroyed the Persian Empire, putting its civilians to the sword and burning its cities to ash in three short years, we realized that we had severely underestimated them. Not much later, our own people faced this new scourge. Our Kipchak brethren to the east fought bravely, but were easily defeated, and several of their Khans were captured. The Mongols buried the Kipchak Khans alive underneath a podium on which the Mongol commander, Subatai Bakhotur, sat to celebrate his victory. The Mongols called it an honorable death, only reserved for nobility and royalty. I believe that these Mongols are evil demons sent to torture us. Only the western part of our once mighty confederation remains, and with it, the great Cumania has become a mere shadow of its former self. However, one of the Khans, Gautian, recognizes our peril and is rallying all of the tribes to unite against the invaders. Putting aside his pride, he has turned to our sworn enemies, the Rus, and is asking them to join the fight. They may be hostile towards us, but we have no other choice. The Mongols will scourge this earth and enslave everyone on it. Let us hope that the Rus princes come to realize that too before it is too late. A nice little piece of history <laughs> I did not know so much about it and I kind of got confused about the whole Mongols and Khan thing because I thought the Mongols were the Khans but that doesn't seem to be the case here the Mongols are basically attacking um, Eastern Europe and uh, the natives over there at this point are the Cumans and their hero is Kotian Khan of course only Kotian Khan can raise troops you will lose if he dies. Ooh, hints. If try Western Cumin will only talk to Kotian. Still, it is not a bad idea to use the other cavalry scouts around the map locate. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so this is sort of a mission. I believe this is a similar mission to the one with Genghis Khan's first mission, which is pretty good as well, by the way. Sudden rapid expansion of Mongols devastated the uh, Cuman morale. If the Mongols scout reach a tribe before Kotian does the tribe will be subjugated and will become oh damn weak horsemen have a less powerful attack than most mounted archers but years experienced uh, taught them to use the stand okay okay so this is <laughs> wants me to micro a bit the assault on mongol castle will likely prove fatal try to lure saragon mongol tart 
defenders into open okay and these are scouts Curtin Khan initially commands very few men he must visit human tribes for okay I met uh, visit CN across Ukrainians and then Rus of Kiev red and blue so seen red and blue these are the guys that I gotta meet up hmm orange are our enemies okay so yellow and orange are bad people rest of them are good maybe or may not be good Mighty God, I was unable to convince the human chiefs and Rus princes to fight against the Mongols. You will have to meet them in person. Alright, this is a rather big mission, as you can see the map. The good thing is, it's more of an exploration and RPG-ish mission. And I don't think we'll be having to make anything in this one. We'll just have to capture stuff and all. Alright then, uh, this is the first place that we're gonna go. This is scene. So we're gonna go there and talk to these guys. Kotian Khan must survive. He's got like 250 HP and pretty good attack and oh, oh the Mongols! What are they? The Mongols? Yeah, they're the Mongols. Kipchak. Alright people, uh uh. I think I'll only send uh, him in. Okay, we didn't get the buildings. So this tribe joined us. This tribe good. This is also seen. This is orange. Wait a second, this is not orange. This is also seen. I'm just gonna go here and check this out. We got like nine tribes to visit. Alright, we gotta make haste. And uh oh, more Mongols. I have to say, the snow maps are rather. Uh oh, uh, be careful. I don't want to make that mistake. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a thing, but. Be right for Cumania! So yeah, what I was saying was, I'm not sure if sending the whole army inside would be a bad thing, but I'd rather not take the chance. We got some stuff here as well, and oh, oh, a tap. Oh, uh, okay, I don't want to face them. I don't want to face them with a tower, to be very specific. I think I'll keep the guys here, and what do we have? A shepherd. Nice! Very nice. Hmm, very nice. Okay, Khan. I want to. Uh, I want you to go there alone. Yeah, just go there alone. Talk to them. Get their allegiance. Get their men and just get out of there. So many tribes already fell to the invaders. May the Sky God be on our side in the upcoming battle. Sky God. So the Kipchak are supposed to be like super fast um, cavalry archers. So far so good. We've already visited four tribes. We can visit uh, five more and uh, then we can decide what to do with the enemy uh, enemies and frenemies. We're probably gonna have some uh, Mongols to deal with in this area. No? No Mongols? Oh, oh, oh. We don't want to take that risk. Let's go in alone, Kotian. Steep Lancers. This guy too, please. 
Come on, I need this guy. Huh. Alright. We're starting to build a bigger army now. Did we start here? I guess we did. Uh oh, this is orange. This is orange. This belongs to the enemy. We don't want to go there. At least not just yet. We have some banners here. I don't know who did they belong to. Is that a shrine? That is a shrine. Who do we have here? Any monks? I need some monks. Medic! Hit E for monks. Medic! Medic! Uh oh! Cavalry archers! We got a scene ban banner over there. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's called scene, right? At least that's what the last guy told me. The one that I asked, of course. Uh oh! Careful, Kotian. Only you should go in. I'm pretty sure the whole go go in with Kotian alone was only with one or two of them. Cumans, Cumans. <laughs> All right then. This is red, and uh, okay, this is still seen. So I'm I'm gonna go there with, in with Kotian and get this one. Apart from that, we got uh, this is. They will join a righteous cause. So far so good, I have to say that. Now we got like one tribe left and that's from between two Mongolian encampments or rather scout encampments. How, do, how big they are, I don't know, but we gotta be careful nonetheless. Once we have that, then we gotta visit Rus and uh, we gotta visit uh, Kiev. Wait a second, Rus is Kiev, and the other guy is... Who's the other guy? Uh, not this option. <laughs> I keep clicking on this option by mistake. Human tribes are the ones that we're getting now. This guy. Galicia. We're gonna meet up with Galicia and uh, Kiev after this. They're probably gonna give us some sort of uh, mission of okay go and destroy this building or give me so much gold or something like that I mean that's how the earlier iterations of uh, these kind of campaigns worked out so far so good we have a pretty good army and uh oh we don't want to face a tower just yet I mean I'm gonna have I'm gonna lose some stuff to the tower if I try to engage with the tower we have convinced all of the tribesmen to join but to stand a chance against the Mongols we will need the help of our roost neighbors it's gone the tribes lost all right then to Kiev also these horses are supposed to be rather faster if you ask me I believe this is the original uh, Age of Empires 2 um, uh, screen camera distance or is it this I, d I have no idea I like what they've done here Sheeps aren't capturable and got like that shepherd guy in the middle of them. It gives you some nice little um, views and uh, it give, gives you a good little feel if you ask me. Alright then, not gonna send the army in, just gonna send in Kotian. Kotian, go and talk to them. All right then. So Kiev does not want to. They do, they don't wanna. They don't wanna do it. They aren't even opening the gates. Open the gates, guys. We got we got some big bad people around the corner. They're gonna come and raid us. You know. We we gotta we gotta fight together. You know. Hashtag diplomacy. Hashtag. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Uh, wait a second. Well, that kind of went against me. <laughs> Alright, 
right then. I'm just gonna move towards Galicia. I wonder what kind of objective or quest Galicia would wanna give me. Gotta be careful. I don't wanna engage any uh, Mongolians on the way. I don't wanna fight yet. I wanna bolster my forces. I wanna get everything I can. And uh, yeah, the hints did also state that uh, I require some siege weaponry before I can actually go and uh, take him on one on one okay Kotian's kind of a uh, he's kind of being rather brave going all alone and uh, I don't know why but the game's lagging a bit it's not supposed to lag it's it's a 20 year old game you're not supposed to lag you're not allowed to lag even even in definitive edition you're not allowed to lag okay I don't know what was that about but uh, we gotta be careful with Kotian as well we may face some um, Mongolian um, marauders on the way, but uh, we're pretty close by. I don't think we have anything in the middle yet. Oh, oh my mistake! I regret that decision. So, these guys are basically being guarded by them? I don't know. They're literally at their gates because that's pretty close by. I mean, I'm just kind of preparing myself up. Kiev already said that they don't want to partner up with me. I have a feeling that this guy would just, I don't know, straight up try to assassinate Kotian or something. Well, let's go in and see where our fate leads us. The Mongols took one of our princes hostage. Save him and we will join your war. Ah. Good enough. Hopefully the prince is not in another castle. Hashtag references. So here's the thing. Kiev refused to join us, but the glass uh, Galicians gave us a quest. The quest seems rather easy, considering the number of stuff we have. The only thing is we don't want to have to need some siege to attack this. If we need siege, then, well, that's going to be difficult. I can see some uh, palisade walls, so palisade walls, so well, you don't really need siege for palisade walls. <laughs> you need siege to take down the castles and stuff. And uh, okay, and be careful. Just gonna send one lancer in and check up what exactly do they have. And all oh, right, of course, they had to be double walled. So here's the thing: the double walled. There's no uh, entry to them. There's no uh, gate or anything. You can destroy the whole wall manually. Now, what we want to do is send in our archers, the Kipchaks. Yeah, that's what they call. Okay, send in our Kipchaks and outmaneuver those cavalry archers. That's literally our only chance of actually destroying any of these um, uh, walls. So, kill them all! These guys are pretty fast, like super fast. Let's see if I can actually reach their range. And uh, I'm going to send these guys in to destroy the, the walls now. Whoa. No! The monk! Uh oh well, basically targeted. It's better if I could target and take it out. Come on, no, the other monks. Wululu, no, it got wululu'd. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. So I think the better option would, for me, would be to just keep my distance and take this wall out slowly. This is a pretty good choice, by the way. Have one monk to convert and the other monk to just uh, well do what, whatever he's doing. No, I'm, I keep losing Kipchaks. Kill it! Kill that one too. So far so good so yeah 
something like that can actually be catastrophic if you don't know what you're doing. No, we also got cavalry archers. I didn't see that. I thought we only had Kipchaks. Yeah, you guys can just go in and destroy the inner wall now and uh, beat that guy up. Mangudai. Of course. The Mongolian Mangudai. How could we forget all those years of playing the Genghis Khan campaign? A band of human horsemen. You are the last saviors that I would have expected. My father is an important man. Free me, and my people will be in your debt. Yeah, now the, good, the thing about uh, Age of Empires is that you can actually... Uh, can I do that? I don't know. Objectives, chat, diplomacy. Yeah, basically I can just make him an enemy and then just kill him here. So that's just the thing about Age of Empires, but I'm not gonna do that. I may... You know what? I'm gonna save it right here. And we're gonna see both um, if they have any... Human one. We're just gonna name it human one. We're gonna see what happens if he dies, and we're gonna see what happens if he doesn't die. Well, most likely, I mean, it's just gonna be a simple scenario of um, and is it a part of the main objective? Okay, it's actually a part of the main objective, so technically I can't do that. This is part of the main objective, it's not side. I would still want to try out though, and see what the response would be. We're gonna do that at the end of the campaign, just for lols. We can do that right now. Uh oh! Ah, see, so that's that's what you gotta do, man. You, you gotta you gotta save him. It's not just simply let him go back home. You gotta you gotta lead him back home. Oh man, I'm kind of scared now because he's all on his own and he's likely to meet up with some stuff up there. And the thing is, I don't even have his vision. Oh wait a second, I have his vision. And, okay, he's home. He's safe now. Alright then, so they're talking about having a good word with Kiev. So Kiev initially said no to us, they basically like no. So now if I send Kotian in at this point. You have the blessing of the prince. Fair enough. Bring your warriors to me and I will heal them. Ah, nice. So we got a monk here. He's gonna heal up our units and stuff. So they're gonna be ready for eternal war! And hopefully Kiev will stop being... Yeah. Kiev has stopped Mongols being that. Started attacking our people, and they have blocked an important supply route to the north. Destroy the blockade, and we will talk. Oh wow, he's like, destroy the blockade and we will talk. He's not like, we're, go we're gonna join you, he's just like, we're, we're gonna talk. Uh, I still don't trust Kiev, but we're gonna, we're gonna execute this mission anyways. So here's the thing, if I just let the prince die, or I, or I kill the prince myself, we wouldn't be having this whole conversation till this point. So even if there was some sort of interesting thing over there, I don't think Kiev would have joined us either ways, and well, the Mongols are definitely not going to join us. Mind healing us, monks? Mm, they're kind of losing faith. Well, losing faith as in losing their energy faith, not their faith. They will never lose their faith. They're the most faithful to faith, the faithfulest things ever. Uh, enough of that. All right, then let's go up here. This area is pretty small, and this is a part of the 
trade routes for our ally Kiev. So we gotta be careful in destroying this as well. And okay, they got a they got an internal wall and external wall, and uh, we're gonna do a similar thing as to what we did earlier. We're gonna use our Kipchaks and uh, destroy whatever we can from it range. Okay, so this time it's it's a maze. It's not a wall. It's a maze. We're gonna destroy. Uh, we're gonna kill these things first. Uh oh, monk. Gotta lead him out. Get the hell out of my face, monk. He's dead. You're dead, monk. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's a ba brave uh, scout. Steve, go and get him. I have faith in you. Well, Steve, you did a pretty good job. Now all we gotta do is bring that uh, man good eye out, kill that man good eye, and then go and attack the tower. This is a pretty good wall, like, I could use something like that when I'm playing missions and stuff. Tower defense. Alright, Lancers and Scout Cavalries, go and get in. Our soldiers will fight for us. At least for now. So Kiev's just gonna temporarily support us. You petty nomads know nothing about seeds. Thankfully, our engineers have constructed ramps to buckle down. Wow, I would like to keep standing in next of these article bros. Well, we've established that the Cumans and uh, the Rus basically they don't really get along, even as allies. So this is just gonna have a little, a, a rather fragile alliance against the common enemy, the Mongols. At this point, I'm gonna get all of my units, send them here, and uh, we got some siege ramps here with pikemen. We can of, of course uh, garrison the pikemen inside and oh my goodness manatons and stuff and they're heading our way uh, And the better option for me is just just to go just to go near It's not like I'm actually gonna lose anything So I'm gonna plan out my attack. What are we attacking? An encampment here, that's a castle, something here. This was supposed to be one of our um, encampment that was supposed to be saved, but it's gone. So here and here. This one's destroyed, this one's destroyed, and I don't see anything. Well, there are no other flags pointed out. Okay, these are patrolling. These aren't attacking, all right. Nothing's coming towards us then. You can just use these to first get here, get nearby to where you want to attack. I've uh, queued these guys up to one. Okay, we got knights as well. Oh, we 
wait a second, these are archers? No, these are lancers. Uh, also, you gotta be careful of not uh, having Kotian killed in the meat in the process that is Alright then. We gotta be careful of whatever we do. Just keep Kotian out of this fight. Gotta be ready to ungarrison these things. Get this button for ungarrison. Uh, oh, I should have known. There's a wall over there. I'm gonna attack the wall using these things first. Burn that wall down. All right, back out lightly. Come on, the sea trans can't move. Castle's down. There we go. For the end screen screen. Those principalities were not easy to persuade. Reached the Rus princes that the large Mongol army was riding west toward the Dnieper River. They accepted Kotian's offer. Now, a united army of Rus soldiers and human horsemen stand together to face the incoming Mongol horde. It is a magnificent sight to behold as our combined armies march to meet the Mongols on the field of battle. Beams of sunlight dance on the shields of the Rus foot soldiers, the full body armor of the boyars, and the iron-clad human horsemen. If this odd coalition of Rus and humans can stand united, we might have a chance of withstanding this scourge from the east. <laughs> So there we go mission number one is over mission number two would be the battle at Kalka River which we'll be doing later on stay tuned for that and subscribe for more good night everybody